Well, in the statement just seen indicates that President Uru Kenyatta has directed for reviewing of the death to dawn curfew imposed in Mandera, Wajia, Lamu and Tana River counties. A dispatch from State House states that President, after meeting with his security team, has instructed Interior Cabinet Secretary Joseph Nkaiseri and his team to enhance security throughout the country during this holy month of Ramadan. Moving on, the family of Bernard Cheriot, a KDF officer who died in a fire exchange with Al-Shabaab militants in Lamu on Sunday, is still struggling to come to terms with the death of their son. A somber mood engulfed the family in Chepkongik, a village in Kericho County. After receiving the news, the death of soldier, the soldier has robbed his family a breadwinner and an icon. His mother, 72-year-old Priscilla Tegere, could not come to terms with the tragic demise of his son. The family says they communicated with the deceased on Saturday when he had traveled to Manda to seek malaria treatment before going back to Kiunga, where most of their communication was hindered due to poor network. The deceased who died at 31 years lives behind and a widow, Rhoda Chariot. The family, which runs a small business, mil, mil, milk business rather, now wants the government to assist them, saying they are losing, losing their sole winner. The milk business cannot sustain them. Barrel arrangements are currently underway. Tuesday, what what work I could join you, man? Can only work I could. As I was born, I knew I was not going to come back. I knew I was not going to come back. But I knew I was not going to come back. But I knew I was not going to come back. But I knew I was not going to come back. But I knew I was not going to come back. But I knew I was not going Amengangana kusaidia familia yao. Mama amepoteza watoto kadhaa. Three daughters is the fourth son now and he has only just what one son now. 